So I'm really excited to share this video today because it's in response to a question I get a lot about skinny jeans. And people often say to me, Adam, why do you have to wear your pants so tight? It's a complex answer, but basically, the smallest pants you can find in the mall today might be slim or might be straight, but I really want something that's gonna fit my body, show my form, my figure, my skinny little calf legs, you know what I'm saying? So today, I'm gonna show you three brands of skinny jeans and one brand of chino that I really like. Really like, really like. All right, so the first brand is Legend London. This is a pair of jeans I've had for about over a year now, and I really like these, even though they cost a little bit more than the competitor I'll share after this. They have a little more sheen, and I think they go a little bit better with brighter clothes, clothes that shine and shimmer a little bit more. They are certainly the skinniest fit that I have found. While these jeans, while they are more expensive, do have the smallest opening around the ankle, which is around four inches, four and a half inches for a size 32, 32. And while these jeans do cost maybe twice as expensive sometimes as their competitor, which I'll review after this hair of jeans, uh, I do think that they're slightly better quality. But you really have to look on Legend London's website because they do fluctuate their prices often for no apparent reason. You can get a pair of these for $88, and I've seen them go as low as 66 without any apparent sale. So definitely check out the site and just be watching the prices. You'll also have to pay 10 to $15 for shipping because this is a UK company. I love that they have a bunch of different styles on their website and I'll show you a couple of them that I have. And while they do have the skinniest leg hole, um, they also are made out of spandex, so they're really stretchy. You can easily get your foot through them, which is nice. If you tailor a pair of jeans that are more stiff and you try to bring the ankle in, it's really hard to get your foot in sometimes. Now I will say the one downside to this particular pair of jeans, a lot of holes. And I've only had these for about a year and they had small holes in the beginning, but it only took a year to wear. One of the outfits I like to wear is with my Yeezy 500 Desert Rats. And they have a real low profile, which I think these jeans go great with sneakers with a low profile low tops, they go well with high tops that really wrap around the ankle and come very tight. I don't think they look quite as good with bulkier skater style shoes, but that's just my opinion. All right, so these are Hera jeans, which is the competitor to Legend London. I'll put the website below if you wanna check them out. While these jeans can be about 30 to $40, they can be much cheaper than Legend London. I don't prefer them quite as much because in my opinion, they don't have as much of a sheen or shiny look to them. Now you might think on the video, there's not much of a difference but when I compare them with outfits that I wear, I notice these are much better for sort of a rugged look with maybe a, a muted flannel and uh, boots that really come close to the ankle. And these do have a slightly a slightly wider leg hole, just a little bit, maybe a quarter of an inch. Uh, they don't quite wrap just as tight around the ankle as the Legend London jeans do, which I really like. But maybe these suit your style better. And I do wear these more sometimes with boots that tend to be a, um, a little bit bigger around the ankle. They seem to fit pretty well. And these these particular jeans, they do have a couple different styles. That these only have holes in the knees, so they should last a little bit longer. But I will say with the Legend London jeans, if you get them without holes in them, they will last a while. They're very stretchy, very durable. So here's a couple of outfits that I like to wear these guys with. I might wear these with green boots, flannel top, and a nice big jacket over top for the winter time. They're nice, they're very comfortable to sit in for a long period of time. They're not cutting off your circulation or anything. You don't have to worry about that. Philosophy break. This is crazy, but I love talking about this kind of stuff. I get to sneak it into my videos. But it's so funny how hard it is to find motivation to do things that you even like. I love making videos. Once I start making these videos, I get addicted. I forget about everything else, but I always know in the back of my mind before I make one, ah, it's going to be a lot of work. I gotta set up all the lighting, get everything to look right. It's really hard to get that motivation to do something that you even like doing. And maybe it's my personality type. My other artist friend said, oh, it's because you're a Libra. So maybe that's why, I don't know. Do you guys have that same problem? Do you find it hard to get the motivation to do things that you even like? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, anyway, back to the video. Oh, this next pair, Boohoo Man. Oh my gosh. For the price, it's really hard to beat. You can get jeans as cheap as 20 bucks, sometimes even less on sale. The only thing is, they're just not as fitted around the ankle. Some of them are too long, too wide, so you're probably gonna have to get them altered if you really want that really skinny look. Now, if you don't, they're perfect, they're cheap, and they might fit the way you like, more of a slim fit. Around the thighs, they're pretty tight, which is great. The ankle is just a little hard to get the way that I, that I like them, but I'm picky. So what I did is I got these bad boys altered. 
you can take a look. I got them altered a little too tight. These are stiff, they don't have as much spandex in them. So when I tried to put my ankle through them, it tore. I actually don't really mind because I kind of like the way that it looks and it, it just blouses out a little bit. So if I can wear these with maybe a little wider ankle shoe, sometimes I wear these with my Balenciaga triple S's and I just feel like they really suit them very well. But I love the color, I love the design, I love that you can get these sort of distressed. You can see as I wear, I'll wear a couple of outfits for you, but you can see that um, you can get them distressed like that. And so far they've lasted pretty, pretty well. I think they were probably under 30 bucks at least, maybe under 20. And um, I haven't had any issues with quality. The crotch has still stayed pretty, pretty stable. So I'd say quality is okay on these jeans and they've got really great looks uh, to wear with a variety of outfits. And I can wear them again with boots or I can wear this, them with something a little more flashy, a little more shiny, which I like to do. You know, I like to flash it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just get a little, little flair, a little something, something. And I did spend about $27 for these jeans and I had to spend about another 20 to get them altered. So, you know, overall spend less than $50 on a pair of jeans that I really like to wear. Uh, I think it was worth it. Now I'll show you a couple outfits that I like to wear these with. Like I said, I like to wear these with my triple S shoes. I might also wear these with a pair of jeans and a simple t-shirt with a uh, simple spring jacket over top. They're pretty light jeans. Now for the chinos. <laughs> I do wear a lot of casual clothes. I wear a lot of jeans and when I do have to dress up or something, I usually wear just a pair of chinos and a sport coat, not necessarily a suit, but when I need a go-to pair of chinos, Top Man is, I think, the best. They have moderate prices. You can find them in Nordstrom. Some of the pants I've looked at recently are as low as $50 for a nice pair of chinos that last a while. And I really like the ankle fit. Now again, they are skinny, not quite as skinny as the Legend London jeans, which is good though, because I will wear these with a smooth, formal boot that fits into the ankle very nicely. So these come down and can cover uh, pretty much any shoe you want to wear, especially if it's a little bit taller. So I'll show you a couple of outfits that I like to wear this with. Again, I do like to match the belt and the shoes. A lot of people don't, you really don't have to. I just think that it's sharp, it really draws your eye to the overall outfit. And I'll wear maybe with like a, a plaid dress shirt. And as far as fit goes, they are stretch skinny. So they do stretch a little bit. I have never felt uncomfortable wearing these. So thank you guys for checking out my comparison of skinny jeans and chinos. I hope that it helps and give you some resources as to where you can find some of these if you want to copy the style, if you want to be crazy and tinkerbellish like me, and you want to wear tights for jeans, do it, man, I'm telling you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's, there's one more pair of jeans I forgot to tell you guys about. I forgot because I was wearing them. It's this brand called Kings Will Dream. They're awesome because they're in that 20 to $50 range. They've got a nice fit around the ankle, maybe a little bit wider, but I can use these things even to dress up in a little bit. I might wear a sport coat, a nice silky button down and some trendy dressy shoes. And I really like these things. So I just wanted to tell you about this. Sorry. All right, so where are my pants? 